over here at Next Level Guitar and today we're going to do a really fun inspired by a lesson and we're going to scale it down and make it really really casual focus more on the beginner aspect of how we can put some of these chords together I want to do some videos that are kind of geared more towards getting started with the guitar making some really nice chords and what we call ear candy type progressions and use some of our favorite bands to do this you know they inspire us in our everyday they can inspire us straight from the beginning of our guitar journey. So here we go. Hey everybody, before I forget, click on that link below that you see in the YouTube text box. What do you get with that link, Miles? You get a coinciding ebook full of chord diagrams and scales. Most importantly, you get a free video. It's not available on YouTube. And all you gotta do is just click on the link that you see below. Miles, let's do it. All right. So what I wanna talk about is certain chords that we're going to mix with some finger picking as well as we're going to do these things called intervals and let me turn up my volume here intervals are what we refer to as the space between our notes but when we mix them in the very beginning of our playing with some of these first chords that we play it really makes us sound like we're getting ahead and we're doing some cool things and it doesn't feel so beginner you know at the top of your journey so Check this out. We're going to focus on our D major chord. And then we're going to take that chord and we're going to mix it with a B minor chord. I'm finger picking some of this stuff and we'll talk about that. That's a little stress. We're going to do an E minor 7. And then we're going to go back to our A. And those are just going to be the real simple things that we do here. So. Let's talk about the different ways we could play these chords and use them to our advantage in this style. That's the first thing we want to talk about. So in the video there at the beginning, playing these nice triads. And now triads are just three notes, right? They're just a three note chord. And we're focusing on an upper or higher voicing of these chords, which means I'm on the skinnier strings. We're just gonna keep it really simple for you. Um, and this first one outlines a D chord. Check this out. This is a D major chord. It's a different way to play it. Now, if you wanna kinda talk about where this chord comes from, you're like, Dave, this is a D. This is not a D. Well, watch my fretting hand here. I'm gonna show you where this chord kinda comes from. We're gonna go like this really low and bassy there. This is a D major chord and I'm going to move it across the guitar and I'm going to end up on this chord. It's really, really neat sound. So I have... And those are all nice forms of a D major chord. What I'm doing there is I'm now going to incorporate this hand into the mix and we'll talk about that. You know, in the beginning we're strumming chords and sometimes we pick them separately. But I'm going to try just using my fingers here and I'm going to use my three fingers on the higher strings Got my first finger on the G, middle finger's on B, third finger's on high E. I'm gonna hit, and I'm gonna do this neat little double kind of a motion. And then I'm gonna go to another triad. I'm gonna switch it up to this one. Now, in the beginning of when you're playing guitar, you know, you're putting your fingers flat to cover these two strings, and I've got my middle finger there. It's derivative of this bar chord just going to stick on the higher strings and pivot off that D. I'm going to do that same shape before. Now my root note that's here is naming a C chord. I'm going to go down to my G chord. So I'm changing between these chords. I'm playing an A and a D and a C and a G, but I'm not doing them this way. And that's pretty fun right out of the gate. And we're taking that from the inspired feel of this tune. Maybe add a note on there, right? 
just go back to that pinky. I'm just adding certain things here and there, but when you first start off with guitar, I encourage you to just play these simple things and try out your fingerings and try out some of these other notes and hear what they sound like and how it relates to you and what you can do with it. You know, that's a really big thing. So we're going to lead all this into our D chord. Now with this D chord, I'm going to probably just do a really simple medley or melody here. I'm going to grab my pick, just arpeggiate it, notes of a chord separate. Just going up and back and I'm going to go to that B minor chord. Go to our E7, E minor 7. Now check this out, favorite part. Really nice sounding. We're building this off of an A chord. Listen to these intervals. Got my middle finger on E and my third finger on C sharp. Now the way I'm executing this, and this is a great thing to get into and to try, I've got my pick on the fourth string and my middle finger on this B string. And I'm going to hit that A immediately after. Next interval, these are third intervals, just for the record. I'm going back to there. So look at this, I've got that shape on the second fret. I've got my first finger on the third fret, middle finger on the fourth fret. And I've got this. Same shape as it was on the second fret. I'm going to return it to the second fret. So I've got some nice change right there with the chords. Take a note out of that chord. All these different ways we can change them. What else would sound nice with this? Let's talk about how we can do some more of this interval type of movement. Well, why don't we throw in a nice change that's going to take us to F sharp. I'm going to go to that B minor. Now I can throw in my intervals on E. And that sounds really, really cool and I'm just moving a simple shape of the guitar. E major chord going into this kind of uh, what you would see here, you'd almost look at it as a A to an F sharp there, right? That's exactly what that is. So it's a minor third interval. And then I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to go up here. Back to my A. And you've got these nice ringing intervals or little snippets of chords, you might say, as you're changing from one to the next. So. We've got good content here, how to practice it. That's always a really good thing to think about within these lessons. We're inspired by these guys and we're saying we can take simple chords and we can do really fun intervals with them. Upper voicing of triads, you can tell your friends. They'll be like, what are you talking about? But it all sounds good. Something really, really simple, but nice sounding for the guitar and a great way for you to take some simple chords in the beginning, bar chords and or open string chords Mix it with these intervals, and right away we're sounding like a pretty iconic group, which is pretty fun, I think, right in the beginning. So go to the website, nextlevelguitar.com. More great lessons that are inspired by so many fantastic artists, lots of information, and you can't do without it. There's a lot of videos on there. So I will see you next time, and thanks for checking it out.